Hi everyone. For my preview of the week ahead in Forex and financial markets this week, I'm paying particular attention to the US dollar, including a look at the Euro US dollar currency pair and gold. That's because the Fed just hinted for the first time that it's thinking about the need to taper its quantitative easing, which we all know means slowing down the printing press. So I'll look at some charts and go over the tapering story, as well as preview highlights from the economic calendar this week. FX Prime presents The Week Ahead. And please, before watching the rest of the video, make sure you slam that like button for the YouTube algorithm and thanks for watching. Now let's take a quick look at the euro and gold charts to see what we are dealing with here. You can see that on these daily charts, gold and the euro have been in an uptrend and both just bumped into resistance and pulled back after those FOMC minutes. Whether this resistance holds in the coming days will be key. Switching over to the economic calendar, take note it could be a slightly slower start to the week in Europe where many countries are on holiday for Whit Monday. GDP data from Germany and the US will make for interesting comparisons when it comes to trading the respective currencies in the euro US dollar pair. Remember you can't compare GDP as like for like because one is quarter over quarter and one is year over year. But the picture we expect to see is one of much stronger growth in the US than in Europe in quarter one. Housing demand has come down a bit in New Zealand so there is less pressure on the RBNZ to talk about rake heights at this meeting. Finally, keeping up with the inflation theme, Core PCE is released on Friday and expected to come in well over the Fed's target of 2%. Turning back to our favourite conversation in Forex and trading, what is the Federal Reserve going to do next? The reason I'm asking this time is because the FOMC minutes that came out last week were a bit of a shocker. The minutes said, some policymakers said it would be appropriate to start discussing a plan for adjusting asset purchases in the upcoming meetings if the economy continued to make rapid progress. Then going beyond that, they said, some policymakers were worried that inflation increase could reach unwelcome levels before providing sufficient evidence for a policy reaction. So translating all of that, the minutes are preparing markets for QE tapering in the next few meetings, but they are also warning that they may even have to act early before CPI data shows a sustained trend higher. Pretty much all of that is theoretically bullish for the US dollar and bearish for gold because it implies a US rate hike is coming sooner. However, these minutes are two weeks old and almost every Fed policymaker has said since they came out that they think inflation is transitory and that there is no need to overreact. That kind of commentary has been bearish for the dollar and explains why the dollar index snapped a four day losing streak after the minutes. So let's see how this resistance in euro and gold works, because if it gives way and prices move higher, it shows the markets are brushing off the Fed minutes and suggests more dollar weakness to come. If the resistance holds, the Fed may have turned the trend lower. Right, thanks everyone, good luck trading this week and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of The Week Ahead.